I just landed in Bali and I got the e visa, so it's easy to skip some lines and just doing the customs. And now I'm gonna get an e sim, I'm gonna get some money, and I have a pickup because I have uh, someone who's gonna pick me up and take me all the way to Changu. So yeah, I just made it to Bali, in Chango specifically, and there's a lot of villas to rent, but this time I'm staying in Outpost Co-Living. It's a network of co-living, co-working, and social spaces for creatives and digital nomads. I actually know Outpost since the last time I was here in Bali, and they even featured me on the blog of their website. And look at this co-living space. We have a pool that is just in front of my room. They have three floors. They I heard that it's 18 rooms. On the rooftop, we have a kitchen that we share with everyone. So I'm gonna go to one of the supermarkets very close by. It's called Festive Supermarket. Let's get some basic things because I'm usually eating out. And most people think that Changu, it's only this road that is called Batu Bolong that goes all the way to the beach. But it's actually way more than that. It's divided in several areas. If we go to the south, we have Beragua, which is where I'm staying right now. And then it connects to the main road that is called Batu Bolong. And then upper, we have Pereranan, that also all of them connect to the beach. And there are different areas that are kind of connected, like Sese which is a little bit close by. And you have on the south, like Seminyak. If you only comprise the three, Peragua, Batu Bolong, and Peraranan, you have like the massive Changu area, as we all call it. So, the Peragua area is in the south part of Changu, and at least where the Colibini is, it's so quiet over here. And I recognize some of the places, but some of them are new, like there's so many things to explore here, which is cool. So I'm walking to the outpost co-working space, and it takes around 10 minutes from the Colibini, but once you get to the main road, like you can you see all the scooters, all the carts? There's some paths to walk, but it's not that ideal to actually work. I'm gonna rent a scooter very soon. Salamat Siam. No? Salamat Siam. Salamat Siam. I'm still learning. We have four rooms that you can access. Yes. We have three rooms for poles one inside the AC here. It definitely brings me a lot of memories to come back to this place because I used to work here many years ago. So Alpos has tons of activities all the time, which is pretty cool. Look at that. We have workshops, cooking class. Yeah, members yes. orientation. We do it like weekly, every Tuesday at three o'clock. So you can basically enjoy like free snacks and drinks with your co-workers. Members. The snake fruit, I love it. It's like an apple, but some people also say like it's tastes like a garlic. And by the way, in Bali, they use the European blog, so always bring one if you use the American one. So it's always good to know. And yeah, one of the best things to be in Bali, of course, is to try the Indonesian food. And it's so diverse and so delicious. There's this place, they're called the Warum. You can find it all over Bali. And they're like these small family-owned businesses. So this is nasi goreng, it's just fried rice with egg on top, some meat with this chicken, and this is sambal, like a type of Indonesian spices. And they also have some pictures of some of the food, if you want to know what is what. There's so many warums, but this one, Warum OMG, also I recommend it. Authentic Bali food. Nice. Thank you, man. <laughs> so today I'm checking another of my favorite co-working spaces that I used to come all the time when I was here in Bali before. This one is called Tropical Nomad. Abby, nice to see you again. Hey, hey, man. Abby and I, we used to live here in Bali before. For, for years. For years oh, ago. Bali is like a mix of, mix of uh, feelings. It's like you love so much many, many things and also you hate so much many, many things. But now after the pandemic, there are like so many, so many co-workers new. I, I didn't know every, every co-working, but it's like this one for me was, is one of the best because it's like only five minutes from the beach. So you can, do, you can go to the surfing, they have a shower, you can take a shower, they have like big, big uh, garden. For me, it's one of the best. But the reason that I found this co-working space many years ago is because I used to live in a guest house just in the corner, like all the way here. I'm actually gonna show you right now because uh, the owner is there. So Wayan, you're the, I stay with you before. You're gonna have new rooms over here and the pool, you're gonna keep the pool. Oh yeah, I keep beautiful. I will come back when everything is, it's new now. I'm talking about construction, my old guest house and Tropical Nomad, they're in front of the main famous shortcut that this one connects uh, Batu Bolong all the way to Beragua and it's always under construction and it's changed so much. I can show you 
an old video that I made when I used to have a Spanish channel. You can see constructions there, 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 like the traffic, construction, construction. And traffic is a common thing right now in Changu, at least. You're gonna see lots, lots of scooters, especially in this shortcut. It's like usually in peak hours, in normal times, you, you can go anywhere easily. And yeah, talking about scooters, I'm getting my delivery here in Tropical Nomad. I'm gonna be part of the traffic problem. And the thing is that in Bali, it's good to have a scooter because it's easier to move around. Uh, hey, hey. Hi, brother. My best friend for picking up the airport for a scooter. Uh -huh. She has helped me many years already. Yeah. So yeah, I ended up getting a Yamaha M-Max, which is the typical one that a lot of people get here in Bali. So I feel more Balinese right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna start riding right now through the shortcut all the way to Veragua to show you more about the area. So if you're starting to drive, Bali might not be the best place to start. But if you're good at driver, like it's okay to drive around Bali, you know. So Indonesia is one of the top countries for coffee producing. Hence, in Bali, you're gonna find lots of coffee shops, but they're also gonna find great coffee selections. And this is one of my favorite restaurants that I always been when I was here before. It's called Satu Satu. I got my own B60 coffee with an Indonesian coffee bean. So good. And one of the main reasons to be in Changu, of course, is the beach. And all of the roads of all of the areas of Changu, they all end up in the beach. And there's so many things to do here, like people play volleyball, people chill. There's like beach clubs I'm gonna show you also later. Five, 10 minutes away from any villa or location that you are. That's why everybody's at the beach. And one of the most important activities, of course, it's surfing. So let's go do some surf. Yeah. Hello. How oh. <laughs> okay, Javi, Javi's an expert in surfing. How much? It's like 50,000. About 50,000 yeah. per two It's really good today. It's like not so many people. Like that. You have to come early in the morning, yes. between six and seven, because it's like after it's like so many beginners with the, with the teachers. Yeah. But this good, good waves, good weather, mm -hmm. good people in the water. Balinese. Yeah? Balinese. 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 So in Bali the main religion is Hindu but it's like a certain type that is called the Hindu Balinese and you can see it everywhere in Changu or in Bali in general there's so many temples around but one of the main attractions is the Tanalo temple it's like 50 minutes away from Changu and it's this beautiful rock formation it's a temple on top and it's a whole area to explore and it's also very famous for sunset time because the sunset just set below here but I wanted to go earlier because supposed to be not people, there's still a lot of people. Anyway, it's a great place to check how the religion here works. So yeah, there's a guy here with three snakes and you touch them for good luck. I just did it. It's interesting. Kapahayata. Kapahayata. Masho, masho. What? Kapahayata? Respect, respect, respect. Respect, respect, okay, okay, okay. The kids approached me because they saw the video and they, say, they told me to say Kapahaya. I'll find out later what it is. And yeah, this time I arrive in the morning, like 6, 7 a.m. That's why all the stores are closed. But when you go to Sunset, this area is just crowded, crowded. And pff, they're going to try to sell you anything. So I'm going to a Nomadlist meetup because there's this girl, Ariel, who's a member of Nomadlist.com, created this meetup in this place called Ruko Rooftop. And just going to hang out in the middle of Digital Nomads. Hey, hey, Sergio. Thomas, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi, Sergio. Nice to meet you. Hey, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So the meetup was created through nomadlist.com. It's a website you can check the best information of all the cities around the world tailored for digital nomads slash remote work. So this place is actually a co-working spot. All these areas are a quiet place. So you can try a day pass or week to month. So maybe I'm gonna try it later. You can see all the information about Chango Valley, the score, digital nomad guy, some reviews to people that already been there, weather, everything that you want about Chango. Yeah, you recognize me. Like you're like, I think I saw this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I've seen uh, I've seen one, uh, one of your videos before. So thank you. And here's the feature of our creative meetups around the world. This is the one that we did in Chango and Puko rooftop. And you can see the picture that we took and that beautiful sunset. But after the rooftop, we actually went to a burger called Smorger Burger. Here's the picture. Let me show you what we did. So I wanted to come to this place because they have like the, the one of my favorite burgers that I tried before when I was in Bali before. It's called Smorger Burger. And yeah, they have like Australian beef, they have veggie burgers, they have everything. Approved? Yeah. <laughs> and after the burgers, we actually went to part a little bit in the main side of Changu. We did Old Man's and then we ended up in Sambar, a pretty cool bar on the beach. So yeah, I gotta thank Nomalist.com for sponsoring this video. And if you wanna meet other digital nomads, I'm gonna put the link down here so you can join these kind of meetups. So right now I'm exploring what I call the main Changu area. And it starts from the shortcut of Veragua all the way to the shortcut of Peranan. And it's a series of streets, there's so many. The most important one is Batu Bolong. You can find tons of shopping malls, restaurants, coffee shops, like you can spend checking new places every day, you'll never get bored. And this is what I'm telling you, that it feels more like a beach city vibe when you go around this area. So Changu is also very well known for having healthy restaurants. And I just came to one of the staples that is called Shady Shack. But yeah, it's good because it has smoothie bowls, they have healthy things, they have vegan, vegetarian, all day breakfast, all the healthy things that you can find. So I ordered this traditional Indonesian medicine that is called Jamu and it comes in this package. It's just turmeric ginger. And this one has ginger, honey, lime, black pepper just all natural you know so Shady Shack is very close to the only rice fields you can find on the main Changu road there's a guy cleaning the, the, the fields right now and tonight here in the main Batu Bulon road I'm going to have a dinner with my friends at Outpost in one of the restaurants that I used to go many years ago it's called Casa Tua it's like this fancy Indonesian restaurant uh, and what is that? it's no, no, like a no, no. curry inside of bamboo and it's well, cooked inside of bamboo and they also serve it Oh, there's a freaking bunny here, wow! I was saying that there were some bunnies in this restaurant, but it's actually true, they were just walking around. And they have like three choices, chicken, and butter fist, and calamari. It's so good. It's a timbungan. Timbungan. Yeah, correct. Yes? And this is a banana dessert. It looks good too. So if you come to this restaurant, you gotta see the toilet. Like that is the toilet of this restaurant. If you had the chance, you gotta go and check it out. It's funny. Don't ever tell in the comment sections what you see in there. Because Sergio <laughs> will definitely delay it. <laughs> what, what do you think about the toilet? It's an experience. Yeah. <laughs> it's an experience. Yeah. And in the main Changu area, there's this brewery called the Black Sun Brewery. So everybody comes here, this is like the place for the bule. Bule means foreigner in Bahasa, Indonesia. But yeah, it's actually pretty nice. Great, great craft beer and beautiful place to hang out. So meet my friends and I'll show you more about this place. Now Changu has a vast selection of coffee shops to choose from. But let me show you a few of my favorite spots, starting with Syncafe, one of the most laptop friendly. I also like Miel because they offer specialty coffee, the place is beautiful because it has lots of natural light and lots of tables to work from. There's also some places like Coast Cafe that offer a place to work next to a pool. That's why I went with my friends to hang out and do some work together. The same goes for Bohim and Tribal, which are both close to each other and where you'll see mostly people with laptops. So I ordered the Avo, which is one of the favorite avocado toasts that I try. Mm -hmm. Changu, this one in La Bohem, it's really good. It's in the, in the middle of Changu, and it's, uh, I think it's the most uh, quiet co-working and uh, place for working in uh, this part of the island. And Clear Cafe is a great place to work and chat. That's why I'm meeting with two other great entrepreneur friends. So you're doing courses for digital nomad, well, people who want to start or people who yeah. want? Yeah, it's for people who want, it's for people who want to get started. That's good. And Julia, you had a Wi-Fi try, right? I know. Let me see. Like, Where's, there you go. All, all the way there. <laughs> it's also cool to see, you know, like women empowering women here. Look at that. <laughs> 
really affordable to have a dog walker come in every single day. They all, they take her to the beach and um, yeah, there's so many places that are dog friendly, like this cafe. I do it. It's also easy to just like let her off the leash at the beach and she can run around and but she has an amazing life. So one of the most famous cultural dishes in Bali is called Babi Guling, which is a spit roast pig. Like it, they eat the whole pig, it's crispy and it's a famous thing to eat in Bali. So I'm eating it here with my friend Javi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Different parts of the pork. Okay. My third, my third time in this week. <laughs> yeah, he eats all the time. But it's good, like spicy good and I'm not gonna get it every day but Okay, so today I'm checking B Work Valley. It's supposed to be one of the best co-workings and kind of like newest in like two years since they opened it. But I heard good things about it. Some of my friends are here too. So let's go and explore and see what are the benefits of this. This place. is a kickoff, so we do our orientation for new members. Well, today I will present a bit more about B Work, so like you know what you can actually get as a member, like what benefits and also how to get around. Some people don't even know that we have a third floor. So <laughs> once in a week or like this, for example, we do uh, networking events. Uh, this Friday we have a barbecue party. And very close to B Work, there's this Warun that is Javi's favorite, so we're just gonna get some lunch over here. It's good to know that this is a cool working in a Guadum close by. What, what do you think about this one? This one is healthy, healthy, and you have more options. And I think, I think the kitchen and the, the uh, cooker is better. So you can cook up. We have affiliate, affiliate link. <laughs> and I just took a nap in the pool area of the co work. I mean, I love taking naps, so. It's good to know there's quiet spaces. So B Work also has a free area, it's the coffee area. And my friend Harry is there. I'm gonna join him to work a little bit together. So they also have what they call the focus room. Maybe it's more like a cold room so you can have your own space for an hour or so. So yeah, pretty cool. B Work, totally recommend it. Now in front of B Work you have Cafe Coach. Like literally in Bali you have any kind of coffees. Also one just for coaches. Now here are other cool co-working spaces that I check. Starting with Nebula Entrepreneur which has a very nice interior design. Genesis Creative Center is a small but comfy place to work in the Barahawa area. And also you can rent studios for recording, like Lighthouse Co-working, where I recorded a recent video about my gear. There's no motorcycle noise, it's spacious, it's pretty cool to have these studios here in Bali, you know? And if you're looking for the co-working dojo, it's permanently closed, you can see that they're tearing down the building. All the OG Chango people will know that this was one of the best ones. But things change and there's new co-workings popping up and that's what I wanted to show you. So Cash and Eatery, it's a new co-working space, the ones that have been popping up in Bali. But there's a reason that I'm coming here because there's also a new digital nomad community called Nomio. And they're doing a lot of interesting meetups here and there. One of them is like a co-working day all together in this place. Yeah. So basically we have a um, platform for people to find WhatsApp groups and join them and meet other people online. And also we have another page, which is the main page for people to find out uh, what is going on, the activities, because the meetups are actually not only hosted by us, and also by other people too, because it's never about us, it's actually about people going to a new country and then connect with each other. So I really like this idea. Um, there's a few things happening, for example, we're gonna have a dinner. <laughs> wow, that's... <laughs> Salute. <laughs> We have workshops and also we have a Monday, Sunday night. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm going to the movie night. It looks like, it looks like something you'd see in a movie. Just because. So yeah, if you come to Bali, just check nomio.io and you can see all kind of meetups that they have because this is not sponsored at all. I just like the whole project and yeah, just check them out. So there's this restaurant in front of the beach that is called La Brisa. And every Sunday they have like the Brisa Sunday market and it's gonna be a lot of things like food, clothes, souvenirs, everything. So I'm gonna go check out with some friends. So it's uh, one of the key things to do when you come to Bali. Yeah. So it's very nice because it's very, all the products are very organic and natural. And it's like very Indonesian style. It's actually like a woman empowerment project that we're doing. Um, yeah. It started from an island. It started from Togian Island. It's kind of like from the soap, it goes to the coconut oil, it goes to the patchouli, shampoo, conditioner, and then we went to Papua. 
and we found community that created coconut lotion. Yeah. There you go. Thank you so very, much. Very Thank fine. you for helping us. Makasi. Sama sama. I ended up getting the soap because it's a cool project and I actually like charcoal. Let me see. Danuman is in English we call rest jelly. Rest jelly. Okay. okay. It's rest jelly I never tried that before. Yeah. First time trying. Surprise. I want to try. Combined with palm sugar. Yes, sir. And, uh, oh, wow. It's good. Yes. It's sugary. Yeah. But the palm sugar. Uh, the palm sugar. Sugar. Less sugar. Less sugar. Yeah. So yeah, it's good to know that uh, La Brisa has a market too. Like it's very local. Like, there's a lot of things to try. Like, this. but the one that I want to show you is gado gado. It's one of my favorite like Indonesian foods, at least for me, because it has pita sauce. And this lady like made it so good. And this is like the vegetarian option. This is like a must try at least in, in Bali, Indonesia in general. Good. The peanut sauce, man. The peanut sauce is good. Oh. So yeah, after the Brisa market, we just ended up in the main restaurant, and it's just beautiful. Like it's in front of the sea. You can see the people surfing. Beautiful place. Gets a coconut with the friends and just chill. Coconut gang. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the coconut like. It's heavy as fuck. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh boy. Also, next door to La Brisa, there's this gelato, Italian artisanal ice cream. You gotta try them. Their flavors are really, really good. Thank you, Makasi. And one of the main activities to do, of course, is to check some beach clubs. So I'm going to Finn's Beach Clubs. It's one of the OGs. I was here like four or five years ago. And it's fun. It's just in front of the beach. It's in the Baragua area. I'm gonna meet some friends, get some drinks, and show you around. I would suggest you is to book online and get before 2 p.m. You're gonna get a big discount. You're gonna get a table like this, like the beach table. It's just in front of the beach. So we're gonna have a nice sunset here. And, uh, I think it's about the experience. It's something you do when you come to Changu, to Bali, Seminyak. So I would say it's definitely worth checking out for sure. It's, yeah. it's so many people in such a big place. So. Today with my friend Adrian, we're gonna go to a trash beach cleanup. They do this every Tuesday here in the Beragua Beach. So yeah, it's always nice to give back to the community, you know? So, yeah, what is there? You have like a small spoons like this. Like this is very useless, you know? Basically all these F&B businesses, they should <laughs> switch, you know? So it, this doesn't have to happen. Yeah. And then obviously like the number one champion, plastic, plastic bag, damn. You know? But the stuff I found is crazy. Like Every Tuesday, five o'clock. Five o'clock. Yes. Anybody can join and. Yeah, anybody. Yeah. Thank, thank you for doing this. Ah, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Cheers for the. Salute. Salute for the for the beach cleanup. Yeah. From Changu, there's a nice shortcut to get to Pirinan. It's an area that definitely feels quieter but it has so many restaurants and places to check. And here you can find one of my favorite coffee shops to work at. It's called Machinery Eatery. It has all day menu, great coffee, great food, and also very cool stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, makasi. Hey. Makasi. Hey, Harry, how was, uh, how was work? Oh, very hot. Uh, really good today, no? Yeah. So here in Peranan, there's a lot of stalls in front of the beach and there's several things that you can order. This is just corn, just like Mexico, you have the corns with some sauces. And this is sate sate, just like meat on a stick. It's just good to get some food and just watch the sunset with some local people in this Peranan area. It's not bad. Hey there. Yeah, we're doing uh, an entrepreneur dinner. So it's a casual opportunity for entrepreneurs to connect. I like that. Hey, thanks for making it. Yeah. 
So there's a fun fact about Bali that they celebrate New Year's actually around the month of March and it's called the Niepi and it's an event that is a whole day of silence but you have to be prepared because literally the whole island of Bali shuts down for one day and there's a few things happening before that like one of the most interesting one is to call the Melasti and the local people goes out to the beach and do like this kind of ritual celebration where some of them go through ecstasies and they go wow because they're trying to like bring the spirits down something like that i don't know exactly what's happening but it's really interesting you just go to the beach and you see the people going around but the day after there's also a few celebrations one of them the most important one is called the ogogos they create like these big monsters that they're gonna after at night destroy so locally I have a friend pierre who has some local friends and we're gonna go to a village called tabaranan and we're gonna experience a little bit of the ogogo very local experience so we're gonna drive like one hour to get there. That's gonna be fun. Hey. How long does it take to make uh, a go go? Uh, in Bali, it took uh, one month, yeah. One month. One month to make one yeah. of those. From the young man here. Yeah, we have the young man here, yeah. In the community. Who make the, the yeah, ogogo? make the ogogo. Okay. And the last thing is the burn the gogo -go because it's the start of the new year and the start of the Niepi. 24 hours of silence. Let's see how it goes. So yeah, ideally nobody should be out of their houses. There's even police, they're called Pekalang. They're checking if people are out, so I gotta be careful. And I even bought a few groceries a few days before just to spend the day, because if you do it last minute, there gonna be so many people doing that. Shouldn't be out too much, so let's go back in. So yeah, it got completely pitch dark because there's no lights around. We started using the iPhone flashlight to walk around. But what can I tell you? This Niepi thing is so interesting. I think everybody should do this at least once in a lifetime. I'm ready to start a normal day tomorrow. Good morning. Now that everything seems to be back to normal, let me show you what's in the end of life in Bali. And today it seems to be good for surfing, so let's go to the beach. Thank you, look at you. And I say thank you very much for the God, because I look, I can see uh, this. That's nice. Sunrise. That's nice. Okay. 7 a.m. in the morning, and there's not many people, which is good. But, yeah, let's go start. And by the way, Bali has its own kind of coffee. It's called the Balinese coffee or kopi with a tea. And yeah, it's just like powder, powder and water. But it's just a good, quick thing to get after surfing. So yeah, after that morning session, now it's time to actually do some work. So I'm going to Outpost School Working. It's just like five minutes away from here. Once 
day we always have a weekly members lunch. It's for our members. And usually we serve Indonesian foods, but now we we serve like fusion. So we have like grilled tempeh. It's with barbecue sauce. And this one is eggplant with parmigiana. Like when I arrived 2018, I was only meant to be here for three months. So I'm done working today. I'm just gonna meet my friend Javi to check the sunset together. But I'm gonna take the shortcut. Let's see how the traffic is right now. It's usually when there's a lot of cars, like there's always congestion because cars wanna get out, scooters wanna get out. Everybody wants to get out and it gets hectic. See like the pump, the gas. It's usually around eighty to a hundred thousand, which is like five dollars just to fill up the tank. It's really good. Don't disturb the people that is doing their pictures. <laughs> Everybody's taking a picture in Bali. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? How's it going? Yeah, yeah, How's it going? Yeah, yeah. It's a friend who has his own shop facing the, the beach. How long you have this place? The the surf it's bar. It's already from uh, mid of December. December. It's gonna be like. Uh, Three, three, months. three months now. Three three months. Months. So Javi is like a pseudo digital nomad <laughs> on the beach trying to work. <laughs> I never did this one, but I have to do something for, for my client. How's the Wi Fi here? It's very amazing. They have like fiber, fiber, fiber in the sand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only for me. Why are you Kadek? Kadek? You Kadek? Yes. Kadek. For dinner, I just came to this fancy warung that is called Eat Street Bali, and I mean, the place looks nice and have all the Indonesian things that you want, and even some vegan and vegetarian options. Of course, I also ordered some tempeh because I love tempeh. And yeah, after getting this dinner, I'm just gonna be my friends for a bar. So Sese is an area located up north and is slowly becoming part of Changu. There's a lot of strong waves here, but man, such a good views. And there's a lot of things happening here and there right now in this area. One of them is like there's a whole yoga area they do like a Sunday festival. I'm gonna join there with my friend Aline. So I thought it was fun to bring our community, Nomad Somais, together in person and to just hang out, have fun, be on the festival. So in Sese, there's this new development called Nuanu, and the whole idea is to mix the foreigners with the Bali and the local and new, and it's actually very interesting. And right now I'm attending the yearly festival called Suara. Basically, it's a lot of people, as Daisy was saying, from all over the world, we've come together, and we all have our little bits of the vision, and that is to reinvent a new way of uh, living, but using the wisdom from the past as well. That's very important. And that's something that we found extremely strong here in Bali. Just checking what's happening here. We're gonna get some dance, some music, and of course see the sunset here because it's promised to be one of the best places to check it out. So while you're in Bali, one of the best things to do, of course, is diving. So I found a dive center in Changu and they drove us all the way to Sanur Beach, which is like one hour away from Changu. It's incredible, like there's so many people today because it's a Sunday and they're lo all locals. What can you expect? Yes. Beautiful dive. Mantas, drift dive, corals, 
and a bunch of amazing people today. Also, it's good to know that you can do diving or snorkeling. Like some people can stay in the top, you can also see the manta rays, but diving you go deeper and you see more. So this is the Kelinkin Beach. I actually went once there. It had a sunset drone shot. I can show you. What's up? What do you think? Here, here. Oh, it's like a good time, man. Good time, good time huh? Time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like an interesting ritual just on the beach here in Sese. So this is my last sunset in Changu and I'm just gonna meet some friends like Diego, the co-founder of White Drive and other people just to hang out in Sese again in this uh, Warung Pantai. It's such a nice place. Yeah, you, you're a Changu resident, no? Yes. It's a bubble of international people and I think a lot of people give Changu a lot of shit for that. But uh, it comes with a lot of amazing things. But if you do want to experience the real authentic Bali, you know, you can come out to places like this. It's Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally recommended. So tonight I'm having dinner in a fancy Indonesian restaurant. It's called Ulek and I heard it's one of the best ones. And it's Javi's birthday, one of my best friends. Happy birthday. It's how, how, how old are you now? I got to try a rack, which is a traditional Balinese liqueur. And this, this is a rack soap. This is a soap rack. Because a rack is like in shops. Oh uh, yeah, you have a rack shop. That's true. So we got a little bit of everything. We have rice. Crispy dog is very Indonesian. Gado gado, my favorite. Like eggplant. We have vegan satay and some chilies to put on the dog. So yeah, everything looks good. So I just packed up all my bags because my time in Changu is almost done. But I'm not done in Bali. I'm gonna go to Ubud after here. So right now I'm just gonna get a one last coffee in another cute coffee shop. And uh, I'm gonna start driving all the way to the other side. They still have the same menu. I got the Ocean Reef. This is like one of my favorites. This is a picture that I took almost five years ago. So I'm gonna get the same thing for my last day. Mm. Yeah, this mood is something else. I'm gonna miss Changu to be honest. But yeah, uh, it's not the end. There's more. I'm actually going to Ubud, so you're gonna see more of me very soon. All right, thank you for watching the video of Changu Valley as a digital nomad. First thing I wanna tell you where is it in the map. You have the whole country of Indonesia here. And fun fact, it has more than 70,000 islands. And the one that we all know, it's Bali. And this is the whole island of Bali, and actually there's so many places that people like to stay as a digital nomad. The main one, of course, is Changu, where I show you. The other one is Ubud, that is on the way up. And there's small places like Uluwatu, which is over here. You have Amer over here. And yeah, the airport is in the south. You land here, and then you take a taxi. that takes you like an hour or so to get to the main Changu area, as I told you. I have a whole Google map link with the best places that I recommend way more than I show you in the video because there's so many coffee shops as I told you. Also, if you want to stay with Apples, I'm going to put the links down below, but here's the information. They actually have one place in Changu, two in Ubud, and another one in Sri Lanka. By the way, I applied for the visa for Indonesia completely online. They have an official website for the e-visa. You can pay, submit documents, renew and even avoid agencies. And here's my cost of living in Changu, including outposts, co-working, restaurants, all the coffee shops that I went. So it was around 1,600 for a whole month, even including diving, it's not that bad. And lastly, don't forget to sign up to nomadlist.com if you wanna connect with other digital nomads. Give it a like, give it a comment, and please subscribe so if you wanna see other videos that I'm creating, like the one from Ubud and other places around the world. All right, ciao.